August and September represent the heart of hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin. That includes the Gulf of Mexico. But there are several ingredients coming together that might suppress the number of storms we get during what is usually the busiest time of the year. So let's go over what's going on out there. First of all, water temperature in the Gulf is plenty warm enough. I mean, it's 89 degrees right off the Galveston coast. It is 90 degrees in a big chunk of the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. So those temps are plenty warm for development. So we could get a homegrown storm close to us. But the open Atlantic temperatures out here are way below normal. This is unusual. Temps out here running two, three, four, in some cases, five degrees below normal. I picked a spot right there in the open Atlantic Ocean. It's only 76 degrees there. That's below the 80 degree threshold, the baseline that you need for tropical storm development. So sea surface temperature wise out here, it is shut off in what is usually the time when it's ramping up storm development out here in the open Atlantic. And this dust, this is a new plume of dust that just came off the west coast of Africa. That is infusing dry air out here, which doesn't help development. And that dust is also thick enough to reflect some of the sunlight back. That may be one of the causes of the lowering sea surface temperatures out there, all leading to possibly suppressing storm development. And then there's this new forecast for upper level wind shear across the Caribbean and the open Atlantic for August and September. And it is encouraging because it is suggesting strong upper level wind shear, stronger than what we had in June and July will be present over the breeding ground, the most favorite area for development this time of year. Upper level wind shear tears storms apart, especially if they're just trying to get going. And that can suppress the number of storms we get. And in fact, Colorado State University is just out with their updated forecast for the rest of the season. They're forecasting only nine named storms. 12 is normal, so a way below normal forecast. So they're kind of seeing what we're seeing. Hurricanes, we would have three. Now look, we've already had two. So they're, they're saying we would only have one more hurricane this season. I'll take that. And then a major hurricane, maybe only one with only two days where you would have a major Cat 3 hurricane going somewhere in the Atlantic Basin. So what's going on in the open Atlantic is encouraging. We still have to watch it like a hawk, but fingers are crossed for a quiet heart of the hurricane season for now.